perhaps we got it wrong. Let's imagine for a second what this looks like. A plastic army driving straight into the ocean. Seas drowning in it, a creation that never breaks down. 2050 making history as the year the oceans contain more plastic than fish. Plastic is this symbol of a super failure. Is this our legacy? Is this what we now know? Close to the point of no return, can we fix this? Find solutions. This is an urgent call to action to end plastic waste. So we created a game plan, a three-loop strategy. Loop one is the recycled loop, making products with recycled materials. In 2015, we partnered with Parlay for the Oceans to create the first ever running shoe made from upcycled plastic waste, intercepted from beaches and coastal communities, preventing it from polluting our oceans. And in early 2020, we launched two new sustainable high-performance yarns made with recycled materials, Prime Blue and Prime Green. Loop two is the circular loop, where the end of one thing is the beginning of the next. Since 2013, we've been working on creating products that are made to be remade. You wear it, you wear it out, then you return it. We grind it up and remake it into something new. Loop three is the regenerative loop, made with nature. Our ultimate ambition is for a future where Adidas product is made using materials developed from natural ingredients or cells and proteins created in a lab that can ultimately return to nature. Every loop takes us closer towards our mission of being a fully circular company. Plastic waste is a problem. Innovation is our solution. Join the fight to help end plastic waste. The Ocean Cleanup was founded with an ambitious mission to rid the oceans of plastic and recycle it. Literally, this was garbage. After launching a cleanup system that effectively captured plastic and the interceptor to stop plastic from entering the ocean, 100% of the proceeds go to continuing the cleanup. Working with renowned sustainability designers, we come up with a timeless and recyclable product design. Our first product, sunglasses. With the material and design ready, the sunglasses are ready to be manufactured and shipped to our supporters, people who have given this plastic a second chance. Going full circle until we have achieved our mission, ridding the world's oceans of plastic. Around the world, more than one million plastic bottles are sold every minute. Most of them end up in landfills or the ocean. We repurpose 30 million plastic bottles and counting to make our shoes. How do we get from bottle to beautiful? First, we chip single-use plastic bottles into tiny flakes. Then, we melt those tiny flakes into even tinier pellets. We draw the pellets into yarn, which we dye every color of the rainbow, and then some. Innovation meet craftsmanship. From design to knitting to embroidering to finishing, it takes 55 steps to make each pair of Rothy's. Our workshop team takes design from inspiration to perfection. We program each design to create a rendering that brings the idea to life. Then our workshop and San Francisco teams collaborate to fine tune the design, adjusting the color, adding a stripe, even flipping the material if we fall in love with the reverse. Other shoes are made by cutting a circle from a square of material, leaving more than 30% in scraps on the cutting room floor. Our 3D knitting process uses 699 tiny needles to create a perfectly sized shoe with virtually no waste and no scraps. We attach the carbon-free rubber outsole by hand with an intricate strobel stitch. Our signature blue halo graces the back of every shoe. 20 heads are better than one, especially the embroidery heads we use to finish our recycled foam insoles. Say goodbye to a box in a box. Made from post-consumer recycled materials, our shoe boxes are strong enough to ship on their own, saving hundreds of thousands of pounds of cardboard from being used every year. We even seal our boxes with a recycled blue ribbon. 
Overproduction has a massive effect on our planet. Every second, a garbage truck's worth of clothes and shoes go into a landfill. That's not the way we want to do business. Owning and operating our workshop helps us avoid overproduction and quickly produce small batches of new designs. Our shoes are as unique as the people who wear them. That's why we create a rainbow of colors and patterns to choose from, including limited editions and store exclusives. And for every step our shoes travel on their way to you, we use carbon credits to offset shipping. Here's to changing the world, one step at a time. Have you heard about bioplastics? They are materials that biodegrade naturally in just a few months unlike common petroleum-based plastics. However, the bioplastic industry has two big problems. First, more than 80% of the global bioplastic industry uses food sources such as corn as feedstock to produce biodegradable plastics. Second, bioplastics are at least 40% more expensive than regular plastics. Not a real solution. Mexican startup Biofase has developed and patented a process to produce bioplastic from avocado seeds, which is a huge industrial waste in Mexico. There is no need to use food sources as feedstock. Moreover, transforming a waste into bioplastic reduces dramatically the production costs, allowing us to be the first company to offer bioplastics at the same price than regular plastics. Because of this, our technology was recognized and awarded on 2014 as top 5 bioplastics innovations globally. We want to offer a real solution. We aim to change the way we live.
is more than 80% in Metro Manila. There's air pollution levels in the British We capital should see a region. huge environmental impact. And according to the World Health Organization, even trigger lung And so Delhi there once again topping the pollution charts. Situation here in Beijing was worse. Air, 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 dirty records. Air Inc. is about capturing air pollution before it enters the environment from your cars, from your trucks, from the diesel generators that are spitting out this particulate matter and then converting that into inks of various sorts. We did the initial research and prototyping for this idea at the MIT Media Lab. For the last three years, we have been getting our hands dirty on the roads of Bangalore to solve this problem. After we are done capturing air pollution, we take it through a purification process and then we treat it with solvents to create printing inks. developing new ways to be able to paint and create without a negative effect on nature is an awesome idea. I'm so into it. There's so much pollution that just half an hour can paint an entire pair of shoes. I'm excited to work with something, uh, an ink that will merge both together, beauty and environmental awareness, a way to advance humanity and to save the space around us. At Graviki, we started as a small group of hackers supplying science, technology and creativity to solve hard problems. We thought, how can we take something that's totally undesirable, ugly and as bad as air pollution and turn it into something beautiful, something that everyone uses, as common as inks. So every stroke on paper that you make is essentially a quantification of that particulate matter you would have otherwise breathed in when you're walking outdoors. By backing us, you help us scale up pollution capture technology and bring air ink to as many people as possible. What's the best place for this carbon soot to go? Is it your lungs or is it something like inks that we make?